morning, we're back in Magic Kingdom. We're here for early morning. And there she is. I love walking down Main Street. It's so beautiful at this time in the morning. That pumpkin up there, it's carved to look like an ice cream. If only the crowd level was like this all day, it'd be amazing. So we're going to head for Peter Pan. The wait time is already 45 minutes and the park has only just opened. We're going to head through the castle and then over to Peter Pan's flight. Look how quiet it is though in Fantasyland. So standby for Peter Pan's flight is 45 minutes. Really cute line though, but we've never walked through because we don't have fast pass before. It wasn't even four to five no. minutes. That was the best 45 minutes I've ever wasted. Yeah. Got that pixie dust. Ah, oh, here we go. I love this ride. And off we go! flight and I'm so glad that it was a walk on. We've always had fast pass for that and it was posted at a 45 minute wait time which I wouldn't really want to wait any longer than 30 minutes for any ride so for it to be a walk on was an absolute bonus. And we're now going to head over to ride Jungle Cruise. Okay now for Jungle Cruise posted time 25 minutes for this one. Let's see how long it actually is. Ridiculous sense of humor, and so have they. Yeah. We're now heading around to go and do Big Thunder Mountain. I see the people coming through on Splash Mountain. I think we might try and do this afterwards. It has got a bit of a wait because it was down for a bit this morning. But it is a good one. We haven't done it yet. Uh, it's oh, is it? Well, if there's anything like any of our other um, waits in line this morning, yeah. it'd be like two minutes. Mountain, first time of this trip. Standby is 30 minutes. That's what you ask us. That's what we go. We just rode on Splash Mountain and it was good fun. I am looking forward to the new um, imagined rides though. I always like a change. Um, and it's always something good to look forward to when you revisit because there's something new to do. What did you think, James? Yeah, I think the same. It's good. Uh, the drop was awesome. Yeah, the drop always. was really it's fun. It's actually a really long ride it as is, well. Yeah. There's loads to the same. I think it's going to be great once it's been reimagined and obviously updated. It's got a few of the photo classes outside of the castle, so if they look good, I'm going to pop them in here now.
going to head over to Buzz Lightyear into Tomorrowland. We should probably go on the TTA as well for a bit of a relaxation. Ready for... Oh, standby is now 30, 30 minutes. We'll give that a miss, shall we? Yes, definitely. We've just picked up a Jofferies. We've got the Shaken Jamaican Cold Brews. And we're going to go and head over to Gaston's Tavern to go and get a cinnamon roll. We didn't do um, Space, Ranger, Space Ranger Spin in the end because it, obviously it was half an hour wait. Or it was a half an hour wait and we didn't want to wait that long for it. It's going down but it's still 25 minutes. So we hopped onto Carousel of Progress and then got our Joffrey's and now we're going to go and get our little snacky poo. Now heading into Gaston Tavern to go and get my cinnamon roll. I'm really looking forward to this. I love this treat. I've got my cinnamon roll, which is absolutely enormous. It's so, so big and way bigger than I remember it being from last time. And I've also got some extra frosting, which is warm. Really looking forward to this. My first cinnamon roll of the trip, which is surprising because I love cinnamon rolls. Let's go in with a little bit of extra frosting. Gotta do the pour. Oh yes, look at that. and try some of the things from the China food booth. I'm going to get the pan fried chicken dumplings and I think the beef bao bun as well. So here are my chicken dumplings and then the beef bao. The beef bao doesn't look the most appetizing bao that I've ever seen, but hopefully it'll be tasty. The chicken dumplings, however, do look very nice because they've got that um, greenery on top from the spring onions. The dumplings. I think they may have said that they are supposed to be crispy fried dumplings, but they don't look very crispy at the moment to me. And they're not they're not crispy at all. They've got a nice flavour, but they're quite cold. Probably one of the most disappointing kind of things I've had on the food and wine festival so far. Beef bao. That's got a very nice flavour. Although it doesn't look very appetizing. The beef is very, very tender. And it's got onion in there, which adds a nice flavour to the bao one. Your eyes look amazing in this night. Do they? Oh, thank you. We just finished up with those foods from the China booth. And for me personally, they were a miss. I wouldn't get them again. Um, the food was fairly cold. The bao bun was better than the dumplings. However, I wouldn't get them again. I think there are better things around the World Showcase to get rather than in the China Pavilion food booth. So, so far this evening, we've been met with a lot of indecision. Um, haven't really made up my mind on what I want to eat. Um, so what we've decided to do is get some sweets from the King Kringle Bakery. And also I'm going to get some things from um, Carmel Kutcher and we're going to just have those because we don't really know what we fancy to eat this evening and the um, Kringler Bakery is just so tasty we've decided to go and get another one of those. Also if you can tell we've got some more rain. Um, it's not really heavy, it's just sort of a light drizzle but we've got the umbrella up and I've got my um, poncho on just to save getting wet from the rain. The rain has kind of stopped now and the lighting here in Epcot looks absolutely beautiful. That sunset looks amazing. And then if I pan over, I don't know how well it will pick it up, but Spaceship Earth is casting a nice glow around it. 
that sun across there is just making that look even more spectacular. It's a really nice golden hour. I'm so glad that the, the rain is easing up. And I've also just purchased myself some of the Werther's original handcrafted um, popcorn, which I'm excited about because I've never tried this before, but I think it's going to be very, very tasty. This is the popcorn. It's delicious. Really, really good caramel flavor. And it's freshly made as well. So if you want a classic icon, treat here in Epcot then try the well there's original handcrafted caramel popcorn Another amazing day here in Disney World. A really good morning in Magic Kingdom. We managed to get on so many different rides because the crowd levels were nice and low. Most of them were walk-ons, which was absolutely fantastic. Then this evening, we had a brilliant evening in Epcot watching Harmonious. We had a really good view. We were in the port of entry section. If you've been watching our videos so far and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. We will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.